Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, everyone, I'm going to be doing a HP LIP GUI review. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. So HP LIP right here, and I'm going to go down to HP LIP Toolbox, and then go ahead and I will select Enter. Um, so guys, this is a um, little review of the... Um, GUI device, HP device manager, and it will be a quick, um, you know, setup. It'll show you guys how to quickly set it up. So, yeah, right here you can see it says no installed HP devices found. Now, this is when you first um, install the HP LIP device manager. Um, it'll say no installed HP devices found, and then it'll say to set up a new device in the HP device manager toolbox, use one of the following methods. One, run HP dash setup in a shell slash terminal or click setup device below. Two, CUPS web interface. Open a web browser to HTTP colon slash slash localhost um, colon 631 or press the button below. Three, the printer installation utility that came with your operating system. YAST printer drake etc. After setting up a printer, you may have to print, press F6 or choose device. Refresh all for the printer to appear in the HP device manager. Note, only devices installed with the HP or HP fax CUPS backend will appear in the HP device manager. So this, this basically means, guys, this note down here just basically means, um, uh, HP device Man manager will um, only work for you know HP devices so yeah that's pretty um pretty obvious since it is named HP device manager anyway so yeah and um, if you just want to you know set it up the easy way and you know stuff like that you just go ahead down here and click the setup device and then this window will show up and it will say device discovery and then connection IO type universal serial bus usb um, network slash ethernet slash wireless network direct connection or jet direct wireless slash 802.11 requires a temporary usb connection and is only available for select devices parallel port lpd or lpt i apologize um and if you you know th say you're setting up a printer and that's what i'm going to be doing in this video so and i have a wireless um, network printer, so I'm going to select this one down here, but you go ahead and, you know, look up, do what you need to do, um, search what, you know, your HP device needs, um, what your HP device needs for, um, connecting to your computer, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select next, I don't worry about that, show advanced options, um, yeah, okay, right here, you can see it says select from discovered devices and then it'll say model HP office jet 6700 that is just the model of my printer um, and then IP address 192.168.1.5 uh, and host name HP 3d 6b f9 Okay, now you can see you've got H, uh, you've got right here setup device, and then you've got this box that says printer setup, and then printer name HP Office Jet six seven hundred description. You know you can add your own description if you'd like, uh, and location you can add that if you'd like. Uh, fax setup file name or fax name not file name. I apologize. Um, Office Jet six seven hundred fax. Um, fax number name slash company description and location all of that, and um. So now, now I'm pretty much good to go for, you know, um, setting up my printer since this is, since this video is for, you know, the printer, um, the, um, the HP device manager setting up with a printer, uh, that's what this video is for anyway, so, uh, I'm pretty much set up. I don't have to change the name or anything. Office Jet 6700 is a good enough name for me, and, uh, I can go ahead and, you know, send tests page to printer if I want, but, um, I'm going to not do that, so just leave everything like it is unless you need to tweak anything, so, yeah, add printer, and you'll have this little notification, printer added. And then, yeah, that'll take a little, 
um, a couple seconds to load and then you are here in the GUI of HP Device Manager and um, yeah let's get started with the actual you know review of the um, GUI um, manager and stuff so yeah okay so right here by default you will be in the actions tab you can see we've got send fax we've got fax setup fax address book view printer and device information visit visit HP LIP support website and you've got help and then right here you go you got a status tab and it says status idle and um, the date and time and stuff so yeah and supplies mine has nothing no no supplies with it so uh, fact settings just you know it's the little fact settings tab I'm actually not sure what the um, what it's really about so yeah you got fax control fax name and all that you can tweak some of these settings if you'd like anyway and then yeah um so after you know looking at the fax stuff um you can you can go down here to your hp printer um see so yeah, you could select these right here i'm going to select hp office jet 6700 printer and um yeah you can see you got print um yeah you got print scan print test page uh, view printer and device information, align cartridges, uh, clean print heads, open printers web page in a browser, visit HPLIP support website, and you got help. You know, most of the stuff is the same with the um, uh, HP OfficeJet 6700 fax, but you know, there, there are a couple different things anyway. Status, you've got the same thing as it was in fax, idle. And then supplies, right here in the um, OfficeJet printer part, you can actually see the supplies. And if we jump back to the uh, fax, you've got nothing. But, it, yeah, if you go to the printer, you you know, you've got your um, your ink settings and stuff. So stuff like my black ink cartridge, it's good, it's okay. Uh, cyan ink cartridge, you know, it's good, it's, it's, it's okay. We'll replace that pretty soon. Magenta ink cartridge, that's okay too yellow ink cartridge almost about halfway so we're good with our um with our ink so yeah and right here you've got print settings go ahead and you know um change that if you need to but uh, i'm good to go so i'll just leave it like it is uh printer control right here uh printer name office jet 6700 you've got right there uh printer q q control um and then started slash idle accepting jobs jo jobs uh, not default printer so I can set it as default if I want so I'm going to go ahead and do that see if that does anything anyway <laughs> okay start started slash idle uh, I can stop the printer accepting jobs I can I can reject jobs so I guess that means if I um, you know try to print out a document then um, I can go ahead and reject it right here so I'm going to Let's see, I guess, not LibreOffice, Libri. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, just write a couple letters or something and then uh, attempt to print it out and then see if I'm able to reject it. So, um, my name is Bob, something like that. And then, um, okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and print that. So, I can do HP Office Jet 6700 and then OK. And right here printing I can cancel job see that I just canceled printing canceled untitled one on office jet 6700 I just canceled uh, I just canceled my printing so that's that's actually pretty cool I can do that if I want and I can also select stop printer so now my printer has stopped um, yeah and then I can start it up again and then it started slash idle so yeah, let's do that again real quick. Um, my name is Bob and slash Sam. <laughs> and then go ahead and print. Then there. And then cancel. And then I can stop the printer and then start it back up. And we just stopped our document. So that's that's really cool. I can control what I want to do when I print out. And, you know, I accidentally print it out. And I don't want to waste my ink because, um, you know, I've got critically low ink or something and I really want to cancel it because I accidentally printed out the wrong thing or something, uh, then, you know, you go to HP Device Manager and go ahead and and um, cancel it. That's really cool. So right here you've got up here um, device and then settings, refresh device, refresh all, setup device, remove device, diagnose, uh, cues, 
diagnose HPLIP driver and quit and you got view, view as list, and view as icons, and preferences in, in the configure tab, um, yeah, preferences, and you got help uh, right here. Let's see about the preferences, auto refresh, system tray icon, so yeah, that's like, um, when I close this out, um, yeah, there's, su there's supposed to be a, um, uh, little system tray icon, but I, I'm not sure why it's not showing. Anyway, um, am I able to do that right now? Um, always show. Sure it's showing? It's not showing. <laughs> well, anyway, that's fine, I guess. Um, Enable device auto refresh. You got that, and configure if when devices are automatically refreshed. All of this, um, yeah. Configure what commands to run for device actions. Configure the behavior of the HP status service HP dash sys tray. Um, messages to show. Yeah. So it looks to me like it's supposed to be showing, but um, it's not showing. So I guess go in here, see if there's anything I need to change, um, hmm, system tray, okay, oh well, that's, that's fine, um, I'll look at this later, unless it shows up here, um, so I'll go ahead and have a look, so, HP, um, LIP dash GUI. Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Um, oh, by name. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I'll sort that out later, but I remember last time I had it, it did show up there. I might have to, you know, maybe do a system restart or something. I'm not, I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, yeah, so this is a really cool. This is a really cool program uh, for Linux. Um, it, I, I'm not actually sure if you can get it with Windows, but um, you know, if you have a Windows computer and you really want it on your Windows computer, you you might you might be able to get it. I don't know, um, but you know, they always have alternatives, um, which uh, I'm sure on Windows if they don't have the same exact app as uh, exact program as they do on here. Uh, then I'm sure the alternative for Windows is not very good because, you know, Windows sucks. Um, anyway, guys, I guess that is it for my uh, short little review and setup um, of using HP Device Manager. Um, yeah, guys, I guess that is it. So um, I guess I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Well, uh, let me say goodbye so that I have at my actual manners. Well, anyway, guys, I guess that is it. Um, subscribe and like for more, and I will be seeing you guys all in my next one. Goodbye, everyone.